The one person failed. The one person failed. The one person failed. Ninety-nine person has to rule. Only socialism. What do we want? Freedom. What do we want? Equality. What do we want? Socialism. Only socialism.
was elected in December 2010, residents all over this city have been standing up and saying that we don't want cuts. We want an expansion of services for all people. Thousands of people, thousands of people here have been resisting Ford's austerity agenda through deputations, petitions, lobbying, direct action, to creative actions. Never before has this city seen so, such a unanimous stand up and fight back against a mayor who has done nothing more than protect the interests of the rich. We you know politicians at all levels of government do not care about anything but the bottom line. We've also seen resistance from the sense of density of austerity met with violence to police shame. Social assistance rate being decreased further and further, but police budgets continue to increase. And we are seeing more and more attacks on workers and unions while we are being blamed for a financial crisis that we did not cause. Shame! Shame! The Canadian military continues to ravage and plunder in Afghanistan and elsewhere, tearing apart communities, murdering thousands and thousands of people, separating our families, keeping us apart. Samir, but first, my little friend here wants to say, give you a message. Yeah! <laughs> Solidarity for what she said. Afghans for Peace, and I'll be doing a poem about Woo! war and all the oppression that we go through. Recently, as the war in Afghanistan oh is going to be extended again, and we are so tired for paying for illegal wars. I'm going to be reading a poem called Breaking Free from Suppression. Borders are barriers for love to expand. They are the ways for wars to extend. Fighting for gaining more and more land so we can wave our flags from each corner. Because the size of our land defines our strength. We promote peace and say war was not our intent. Deception is how we gather our supporters while we play battle with our friends on the next border. Just to deceive the masses so they can continue paying for legitimate wars. After all, that is how we put gas in our cars. Spilling blood for the sake of drilling oil. Their greedy wild agenda makes my blood boil. I see corporations controlling as if you're business deal. I see them selling medications promising our wounds would heal. And speaking of broken homes, broken hearts, and broken bones. And speaking of the oppressed, widows, victims, and animal clones. And speaking of peace, I'm at I'm speaking for equality. I'm asking for all of us to have more morality. I know my thoughts will not be televised since they're revolutionary. And the truth should be kept hidden since it will take over delusionary. If you can dump the masses down however you want to, but when they wake up from this deep sleep, then you should be ready to see how a shepherd follows its sheep. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Samir Said Rahman. I'm from Afghans for Peace. We're a movement against the illegal occupation of Afghanistan. We must realize that the struggle of us working class Canadians, all who have gathered here today, is not different than the struggle of those under occupation. The very capitalist mongers who have caused us to suffer here are active in the oppressing of the Afghans, the Libyans, the Iraqis, the Haitians, the Palestinians, to name but a few. It is the same conflict we're facing. And what's worse, all the carnage from Palestine to Afghanistan to Iraq to wherever is next, these atrocities have been carried out in our name as somehow providing us with a sense of freedom, as somehow liberating the people of these countries. For 11 long years, Af the Afghan people have been living under the brutal occupation of the United States, by Canada, and by NATO. If there is one thing clear about the conflict in Afghanistan, it is that the war has not helped the lives of the regular Afghan. Now, Prime Minister Harper has suggested the Canadian troops will be staying in Afghanistan past 2014. Shame! 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 Yet again, this government has lied to the Canadian people. Only the elite and those on Wall Street and Main Street have reaped the benefits of this conflict. I stand before you as an Afghan, a member of Afghans for Peace, 
calling on you to be those anti-war voices. We need to unite, we need to stand up, because this is our time to call for peace and justice and to call for an end to all wars of aggression and imperialism. Thank you.